You're listening to Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Hello and welcome to episode 75 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. Game Show Edition. This is Brad. This is Brandon. This is Nick. Name of this game show? Earth, Wind, and Fire. Because I got most of these answers from my children. Oh, no. I make it sound more <laughs> menacing than it actually is. The game it consists of two parts. The first 15 questions are going to be box art trivia. <laughs> Kids Edition. The other 15 questions are going to be Laden thinks. Oh, man. But it's going to be Jordan thinks, <laughs> Samuel thinks, and Logan thinks. That's awesome. There's 15 questions as well. Uh, there are 30 questions, so there is an even number, and there's also a final question. So let's get started. The first portion is box art trivia for Jordan. And again, I already explained the rules to them. And uh, here's our first one. Now, can they lie? No, none of them lied. And can others steal these? No. You'll just alternate back and forth. Okay, so this first one goes to Nick. It has a key, two hearts, this lion thing that's all on a shield. Okay. It, are they all NES games? The first four are NES. And then his fifth one is Super. I'm going to say The Legend of Zelda. Correct. Here's your next one, Brandon. Here's the next one. It has a dragon and uh, a hero fighting it with, and he's like holding a sword. And it says, Your mystical quest begins search out. The Dragon's Lair. Okay. Okay. Dragon Warrior. Correct. Okay, Nick, you're next. Uh, it has a sphere, a sword, and an axe. And inside the sphere is a city, a floating city, and, like, a corrupt planet under it. Okay. A corrupt planet. <laughs> I'm going to guess Final Fantasy. Correct. Uh, this one has, uh, like a Oompa Loompa people and is, and someone's like jumping off a ledge. Okay. Trog. Incorrect. Uh. It was Lemmings. And here is the Super Nintendo cartridge. Uh, it's Mr. T and some other dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the A team? No. It was Final Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T. Yeah. He's got a mohawk on the front. Okay. The next child up is Sam. I explained the rules to him. Uh, so we're going to start with the Nintendo cartridges, and then we'll move on to the Super Nintendo when he's done. Here's your first game. Um, It's a motorcycle with a guy in an orange track sh suit and has a blue background. Uh, that would be Excitebike. Correct. For SNES? This is Nintendo now. The, each kid gets four Nintendo and then one Super at the oh, end. Oh, okay. So then we're back on Nintendo? Yes. And Nick's up. Um, it's a man holding a sword with mountains in the background. A man holding a sword with mountains in the background. I'm just going to say Ninja Guy. No. Iron Sword. Next one. Um... It is a two people with a girl. That's it. 
I'm not giving you more clues. Okay, okay. You're being difficult. I, <clears throat> I don't want them to get this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds. Double Here's dragon two. One. Here's your next one. Okay. Um, it has a skeleton and a man. <laughs> That's all? <laughs> Describe a little more. The skeleton's alive. Okay. <laughs> Five seconds. Ghosts and goblins. It's Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse. Nice. Brandon? Here is your Super Nintendo game. It's a red bug. All right. Awesome. Three seconds. That's bullshit. Say, man. Secret of you? Evermore. Logan, how are you? Good. Okay, so I'm going to show you these games I already explained to you. You've got four Nintendo games that you have to s describe. How do you feel about that? I feel good. <laughs> Here's the first one. I'm gonna guess you're an. You're gonna be that caterpillar who's just gonna eat insects. Okay. Centipede? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna guess centipede. I know that's not correct, but it's millipede. Oh <laughs> damn! Brandon's next. Here's your next one. Um, I see Freddy in blood. In the moon. That's like a tight. <laughs> a nightmare on Elm Street? That's right. Nick's up. Here's the next one. I see five people, and it's it's night. There's a house. A, there's a surfer. <laughs> <laughs> what? A, a surfer. A five people, a house, and a surfer. It's got to be Maniac Mansion. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, Logan. All right. Here's the the next one. Um, this game. Um, it has cars on it. It has two people, and it has. It's like the future. Awesome. Awesome. The future. <laughs> it's cars on it. RC program. <laughs> Spy Hunter. It's like the future. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick gets the super. Here is your Super Nintendo cartridge. I see a soccer ball. Mega Man. Is that Fire Man? And there's other Mega Mans. Cool. <laughs> Um, I know there's a Mega Man one where he kicks a soccer ball, like that Mega Ball or whatever. It's used to kill one of those those first, like, mini bosses. I don't believe that it's one of the Mega Man X's. I'm going to go with Mega Man 8. Hey, Mega Man Soccer. It's Mega Man Soccer. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, after the box art trivia, we are tied. Crisis and Kane both have three. Here comes... The lot and things portion. And at the end of the podcast, I will put the whole interview up so you guys will hear their whole interview at the end of the whole lot and things and the box art trivia. Okay, first question. The first category, Jordan thinks. His category was video games. Mm -hmm. So you're first to bid. Uh, and for a lot of things, uh, basically they're giving an over underline, I believe it's called. Uh, number one, how many stars can you collect in Mario 64? Five. Uh, this is Jordan? It is. This is your least gamer of your sons, correct? Maybe Logan? Maybe Logan, yeah. But Logan's still a young pup, though. He can still become more of a gamer. Um, 50. I'm good. Okay, so I have over 50. Over 50. Do you have anything under 50? The correct answer is 100. So Nick gets the point. Hell yeah, Jordan. Um, 
The next question. In Ninja Gaiden, how much life does Ryu have on his life bar? Nick gets to start the bidding. And you've been playing this a lot, so there's a good chance that he might have seen you playing it. Um, eight. Twelve. I'll go under twelve. Jordan's answer? Five. Next question for Brandon, opening the bid. In Super Metroid, how tall is Kraid? In inches or feet. How tall is Kraid? That's all you asked him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard. <laughs> really big. It's a number. It has to be a number. I can't, I can't say over or under really big. <laughs> Five. <laughs> um, ten. Twelve. Fifteen. I'm good. So you got anything under 15? Apparently, <laughs> he said 10 feet. I, uh... When he actually takes up, like, the whole screen of that <laughs> And now Nick's going to open the bidding. How many levels are in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game for the NES? Uh, uh, four. Six. Seven. I'm good. I, uh... I hoping you're going to bite on that. Uh, he said five. Damn it. So you're tied five to five. Damn it. <laughs> I almost took the under. I was hoping you would give me one more. So opening bid goes to Brandon. How many NES games are created? Two hundred. Were you in the garage when you were recorded? Yes I was. That's relevant because there's a big stack of Nintendo games in his living room. I thought he might just glance over and get a better idea. Um so you have 200 and over, and I would have under 200 if I say 220. 300. Ooh, I'm going under. His answer, 1,224. <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and he's actually pretty close. Really? I think he looked it up when, yeah, at some point, because it's between eight and 1,200, somewhere around there. Wow. Next question. Sam thinks this is going to go to Nick. Sam's questions categories? Movies. <laughs> In all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, how many people does Freddy kill? 30. 50. Under. Sam said 15. Ah. Oh. So Nick gets the point. Next question. Next question for Brandon. In South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut, how many times is the F word used? <laughs> Ten. That sounds like a pretty good number. Fifteen. Sixteen. Under. Sam said five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Crisis gets the point. I almost said zero because he might have thought it was bleeped out. <laughs> Next question goes to Nick. Simple. How old is Arnold Schwarzenegger? 60. I'm good. So you're under 60? It's 62. Oh. Tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Close game. Next question goes to Brandon. How many gremlins appear in gremlins? 10. Um, 15. 20. 25. 30. <laughs> He's got me worried. That 500 or whatever it was he just did. I'm going to go under. Under 30. The correct answer was 30. Aww. I can't remember what you're supposed to do. I guess it's 30 and over. Because he said 30, so I guess that's his. Next question goes to Nick. How much does Jim Carrey weigh? Uh, 120. 150. Under. Sam thinks Jim Carrey weighs 250 pounds. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Next category, Logan thinks. Oh, man. <laughs> Wild card. <laughs> These questions are personal questions. Nice. Brandon? Yep. What is the combined age of Brad, Brandon, and Nick? 
One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I have under that, if I say. <sighs> that sounds like it might be a one or one hundred. <laughs> Because it's nice and round. Uh, 110. I'm good. The correct answer, 92. Oh, man. Next question, open up for Nick. What is the combined weight of Brad, Brandon, and Nick? <laughs> uh, 600. I'm going to say this just because it always makes me laugh. 900 pound gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping one of you guys would say that. <laughs> I'm good. The correct answer, 951 pounds. Oh, nice. <laughs> Next question, open up for Brandon. How much money would you have to pay Nick for him to punch a bum in the face? <laughs> A dollar. Ooh. What does he think of me? Uh, twenty dollars. A thousand dollars. I'll go under that. Logan's answer? Six cents. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, open up for Nick. How much pieces of hair is on Brad, Brandon, and Nick's body? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. A uh, hundred. A thousand. Uh, Fifteen hundred. Two thousand. <laughs> Three thousand. I'm good. Nine thousand and five. <laughs> Nine thousand and five. <laughs> Last question. Open up for Brandon. How many girlfriends has Brad, Brandon, and Nick had? Oh man, three, Damn it. four, five. <laughs> I'll go under. He said four. Yeah. <laughs> so on the final question, Nick is in the lead by one point. For the final question, it's going to be a timed question for one minute. You have one minute to name as many Nintendo cartridges. Go! Time's up. Okay. We'll start with Nick. He's got Zelda, Zelda 2, SMB, I'm assuming that's Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Final Fantasy, Kid Icarus, RC Program, Exact Bike. Tech Mobile, Punch Out, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Goal. 13 points for Nick. Brandon has Dragon Warrior, Dragon Warrior 2, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Golgo 13, <laughs> Random. <laughs> Adventures, Adventures of Lolo, Adventures of Lolo 2, Adventures of Lolo 3. Is it a tie? tie. It's a tie. I it's wish I would have thought of Mega Man. I was trying to think of games that had a lot of sequels. And I just, for some reason, I couldn't think of Mega Man. <clears throat> oh, man. So, because it's a, it's a tie, I haven't thought about this. I know Fight it do. out. I know what <laughs> You each have a piece of paper. Oh. The final question is, how many licensed games were created for the Nintendo Entertainment System? One closest gets the extra point. It's not um, Price is Right style, where if you go over, you automatically lose? No. Brandon? I had 751. Oh, 737. It was 720. Ah. So Nick gets it. Oh, hell yeah! What you win <laughs> is first pick at the prize. All right. What is this? 
Brad went into the freezer. <laughs> I bet you thought this was an ordinary brown bag that I put in your freezer. Actually, I didn't even see you do that. <laughs> so Nick gets first pick of a pint of ice cream. Oh, man. First one up, Baskin Robbins Baseball Nut. Ooh. Second pick, Ben and Jerry's Late Night Snack with Jimmy Fallon. Ooh, I think you were talking about that recently, weren't you? There's chocolate covered potato chips. I'm going to have to try that one. So you get the baseball nut. Ooh, that's awesome. What's in this one? Nuts. Cashews. <laughs> sucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that'll do it for episode 75. Game Show Edition, Earth, Wind, and Fire of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is Brad. This is Brandon. This is Nick. Happy hunting. Oh, and stay tuned. Uh, keep listening for the extended interview with the kids. Hey, this is Brandon. This is Brad. So we're going to bring to you some bonus material features like DVD Easter eggs. Yeah, so we just got done with this game show, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I named it that because... If you listen to the first couple podcasts, Jordan is Earth, Sam is Fire, and Logan is Wind. So, I interviewed the kids for a good 10 minutes about the game show, and these are their answers, plus their lot and things answers. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, here it comes. Okay, so, the first kid up is Jordan. I'm going to be showing him some cartridges, and he's going to have to describe them. And he could use as much or as little information as he like. He can use the characters that he sees on the video game. Let's, for example, I show him Metroid. He could say, "Oh, that's Samus shooting an alien," or he could just be very vague, which would be actually more fun because this is a game show. Uh, so it's up to you whether you, or not you want to say the characters' names that you see. You just have to not say the title. Okay. Here are the Nintendo cartridges. So here's the first one. It has a key, two hearts, this lion thing that's all on a shield. Okay. Here's the next one. It has a dragon and uh, a hero fighting it with, and he's like holding a sword. And it says, Your mystical quest begins to search out the dragon's lair. Okay. Next one. Uh, it has a sphere. A sword and an axe. And inside the sphere is a city, a floating city, and like a corrupt planet under it. Okay. Uh, this one has uh, like a Oompa Loompa people and is and someone's like jumping off a ledge. Okay. And here is the Super Nintendo cartridge. Uh, it's Mr. T and some other dude. Okay. Okay. The next child up is Sam. I explained the rules to him. Uh, so we're going to start with the Nintendo cartridges, and then we'll move on to the Super Nintendo when he's done. Here's your first game. Um... It's a motorcycle with a guy in an orange track sh sh suit and it has a blue background. Okay. Next one. Um, it's a man holding a sword with mountains in the background. Next one. Um, it is a two people with a girl. That's it. I'm not giving you more clues. Okay, okay. You're being difficult. I, <clears throat> I don't want them to get this. Okay. Here's your next one. Okay. Um, it has a skeleton and a man. 
<laughs> That's all? <laughs> Describe a little more. The skeleton's alive. Okay. Here is your Super Nintendo game. It's a red bug. Alright. Awesome. Logan, how are you? Good. Okay, so I'm going to show you these games I already explained to you. You've got four Nintendo games that you have to s describe. How do you feel about that? I feel good. Here's the first one. I'm going to guess you're an I'm going to be that caterpillar you're just going to eat insects. Okay. Here's your next one. Um, I see Freddy in blood in the moon. Let's take it tight. Here's the next one. I see five people, and it's it's night. There's a house. There's a surfer. Alright, here's the, the next one. Um, this game. Um, it has cars on it. It has two people. And it has... It's like the future. Awesome. Here is your Super Nintendo cartridge. I see a soccer ball, Mega Man, is that Fire Man? And there's other Mega Mans. Cool. Okay, so this is the interview portion. I have five questions that I'm going to ask Jordan. And if you guys remember Laden Thinks, these are going to be kids. Jordan Thinks, Sam Thinks, and Logan Thinks. This will be all put on the end of the podcast. Uh, but I won't play it during the game show. I'll just have the answer. So this is just like bonus material. So, how many stars can you collect on Mario 64? Just get 100. the 100. All right. In Ninja Gaiden for Nintendo, how much life does Ryu have on his life bar? Five bars. Okay. In Super Metroid, how tall is Kraid? How are you? Uh, ten feet. It's just they're gonna have to guess what you said. It's not you don't oh, have okay. to know the answer to it. How many levels are on the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game for the Nintendo? Five. There's actually six. Level 5 is the Technodrome level. You have to go search for it. It's the best level. How many Nintendo games were created? 1,224. Awesome. That's it? Yep. Go okay. get Sam. I have some questions I want to ask you. You just have to guess any number. Just what you think the right answer is. In all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, how many people does Freddy kill? Fifteen. There's no right answers. It's just whatever you think. You're going to have to guess what you said. So that's fine. In South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut the Movie, how many times is the F word used? About a few hundred. About five hundred. Okay. How old is Arnold Schwarzenegger? About 62. How many gremlins appear in Gremlins? Uh, I think it's about like 30 maybe. And how much does Jim Carrey weigh? Um, about 250. Okay, that's all I have for you. Logan, go ahead and have a seat. 
This is going to be the first bonus material on one of our podcasts. How do you feel about that? Scared. Scared? Um, I'm going to ask you questions. You just tell me what you think. You don't, There's no right or wrong answer. Basically, Nick and Brandon's going to have to guess what you said. Okay. Okay? So these are personal questions about me, Nick, and Brandon. Before I start, can you say balls hair? Oh. Just say balls hair. Balls hair. I don't do that. That's your catchphrase. Question one. What is the combined age of Brad, Brandon, and Nick? So if you add up all of our ages, what is it? 92. Okay. What is the combined weight of Brad, Brandon, and Nick? 951. How much money would you have to pay Nick for him to punch a bum in the face? Six cents. <laughs> Six cents. How much pieces of hair is on Brad Brandon the Nick's body? Oh, 9,000. <laughs> so 9,001? What, what do you want your official? 9,005. 9,005? <laughs> How many total girlfriends has Brad Brandon and Nick had? Four. Okay. Thank you so much. See you later.